NASA is potentially as close as about two months away from launching the Artemis II mission to the moon. The earliest opportunity for the first crewed flight of the program is February 5th. This past week, the four Artemis II astronauts were scheduled to be at the Kennedy Space Center for a launch day rehearsal called the Countdown Demonstration Test. But as Commander Reed Weissman explained in his weekly update on November 21st, that didn't happen as originally scheduled. It's been kind of an interesting week because we were supposed to be at Kennedy Space Center for countdown demonstration test, but we have delayed that test into December. Wiseman said the shift won't impact their launch schedule, but didn't elaborate on the reason for the delay. Spaceflight now understands that there was an issue with the Orion spacecraft that cropped up prior to when the crew demonstration test was scheduled. We asked NASA if the Orion issues caused the CDT to be delayed, but the agency did not answer that question prior to us posting this video. The CDT is one of the big integrated tests that happens before the vehicle is scheduled to roll out to the pad at Launch Complex 39B. Artemis Launch Director Charlie Blackwell Thompson spoke about it during a series of mission briefings at the Johnson Space Center back in September. If any of you remember or were following back in the shuttle days, we had a similar test that was called TCDT, Terminal Countdown Demonstration Test. Uh, that's where we suit up the crew. Uh, they come out, we go through our checklist and our countdown. Uh, they'll enter the ship, we'll do comm checks, we'll, we'll get them strapped in, we'll do comm checks, we'll do the configuration of the crew module, and we'll count down uh, to inside of terminal count before we have a planned stop. Uh, as part of that, we'll also do an egress demonstration, and that will be what we call a CDDT part one. Given the schedule shuffle, Weissman said in his video recorded on November 21st that they took the newly available time for more training in Houston, Texas. We spent the bulk of this week sitting down with our flight control experts and, and our teams here at Johnson just working through all the questions that we've had leading up to today. It almost gave us a little pause, reset, and very productive. With the stacking of the Orion spacecraft completed last month, teams have been pressing towards the CDT with various other checkouts of the rocket and spacecraft inside the VAB. Progress towards the Artemis III mission is also continuing. Earlier this month, the liquid oxygen tank for the Space Launch System rocket was mated with the inner tank, which separates it from the liquid hydrogen tank. In another Artemis III milestone, spacesuit contractor Axiom Space says it and KBR completed the first uncrewed thermal vacuum chamber test of the Axiom Extravehicular Mobility Unit pressure garment. The test happened in KBR's Aerospace Environment Protection Laboratory in San Antonio, Texas. The test is a notable step as Axiom continues in its critical design phase. Turning back to the Artemis II mission, Blackwell Thompson previously said they're planning a roughly 18-day work period once at Launch Complex 39B. So assuming the launch date doesn't slip, look for the fully stacked rocket to emerge around the middle of January. Reporting for Spaceflight Now, I'm Will Robinson-Smith.